Sorry about your light. Okay, thank you. Hi, Dr. Wilson. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us at the, the Teal Room in Rogers Park and uh, interviewing with me for WZRD Chicago 88.3 FM, which is uh, our student run radio station at Northeastern Illinois University. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, your work in uh, distribu distributing masks to the community. Mm -hmm. How many masks did you say that uh, you will be distributing? Well, we, we are going to be trying to complete 20 million. 20 million. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we started last week. We probably got it this week to go. Um, and maybe next week, too. We do have in, uh, in all of the uh, peak food market uh, mm -hmm. around this, uh, this, this city of Chicago, the suburban area. So you can pick them up there free of charge, too. So about how many have you distributed already of the 20 million, would you say? <clears throat> I think we just started last week. I think we probably up close to after today about 7 million. Wow. Yeah. What in your background, because you are a businessman, what in your background prepared and convinced you to go into business? Uh, to go into business, uh, sometimes I wouldn't be able to have the necessary resources to uh, to help the community more. You know, because working a job, you only can kind of like help yourself and your family, but we wanted to help in a bigger way that we can reach out to uh, the whole community and downstate uh, around the country. And we do some international as well. So business can be opportunity to do that. We, uh, we, we, we do business in China, Australia, uh, Africa, uh, Israel, you pretty much name it. So that gives us a much more broader reach. So that's why I want to get into business for ourselves and, and to keep them on. What was the turning point in your life that you decided, I have to help people? Well, I'm all right, because what happened was that we, um, being from down south, we had to help one another down there. Mm -hmm. And we were raised that way to help one another, and we didn't have any stop. You know, we didn't have anything down south, so we had to borrow uh, bread from our neighbor, and the next month they were borrowed from us, and we just pay one another back until we could, we could make them with shell shelf you know? So um, you began down south uh, wanting to help people, and you work with people down south helping people. What about now? Are there uh, many individuals that, that uh, came with you from the south and are working with you now in your businesses and <coughs> serving the community? Not really. All my people have been down south. We have a few up here, though. Mm -hmm. sisters and brothers, but they pretty much in their own world. They got job income coming in. Um, and, and you know, some of them, they, they're based on their own thing. But we, we um, help the community, we help people that we don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, we get them out of jail, we help pay proper taxes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we uh, food to eat. Now they mask because the people don't have them. Mm -hmm. You know, and they don't have money to buy food. So they don't have money to buy food, how can they buy paper? So we have something we just give away. What contributed to your first big break in establishing your business? Uh, that was back in 18 and uh, 18, 80. 80? Yeah, uh, 80, 80, 80, 80, 89, right there. Uh, we kept going. Um, 1970, we got into business. So 1980, uh, we really got our McDonald's. Prior to that, we worked at uh, Mop Floors and, <clears throat> and uh, Cashier and Can't Drop the Can Line and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I did that for 1970 to 1980. Mm -hmm. 1980, I actually went into business. I had five McDonald's restaurants. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we, we went into Omar Medical Supply. Oh. Yeah. So why did you name it Omar? Does it have anything to do with uh, Omar Sharif? Because Omar Sharif uh, is also my friend. He's the president of the uh, African American Contract Association. No, no, I, 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 I know who Mark, but this is for my son. He might be my, oh. I named my son. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was Omar. He was, uh, he, he was, uh, you know, he, he was killed, so, oh. yeah, 20 years old. But I, I named my business after my son and my daughter, you know, mm -hmm. so it was here. But that was a while back, we, you know, so we, we named Omar, and we don't know where it was at. No, no problem at all. So, uh, 
How has the climate changed for African American business? Well, <clears throat> we've always been struggling, so we don't get to, they don't get the same equal opportunity as some of the other businesses they they have. Um, now, since this uh, COVID nineteen, it have closed a lot of businesses now that were already struggling mm -hmm. and trying to make it, and a lot of them won't open back up. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, but I, I would recommend this just uh, try to adapt. You know, because even though in the best of times, you run into ups and downs in the business. Mm -hmm. The climate changed a lot just to an everyday business. But this one here, because of this, this virus, nobody ever seen nothing like this before. You know? Mm -hmm. But you have to keep the faith, keep going, and, uh, and, and things work out for you. Just have to keep faith in Christ, you know? Were you uh, uh, distributing, uh, uh, were you in business with medical supplies such as for uh, masks even before the virus hit? Or? Yes, mm -hmm. oh. we were in the, well, we were in the post of gloves. Uh -huh. uh, but we, we added face masks during the virus mm -hmm. because people, my customers started to request for us to get them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we started doing that during the virus. Prior to that, right. we were just in the glove, the post of gloves and garbage can line and things like that. Yeah. What size market is best for you, and can you tell us why? What? For for your for your business, what size market? Well, <clears throat> um, I guess the size of the market we 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 do international. We've got major major corporation. We sell retail as well. You know, you'll find um, gloves and different stores around the country. In Chicago and area, but basically major corporations that we sell product to and they and try to use it for their customers, things of that nature. Yeah. The uh, national uh, companies they or the global companies reach out to you, or did you ask them to see if you could work with them and expand that way? Well, well, <clears throat> we have these customers. They uh, we have service that we offer, you know, and we 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 got salespeople too. You know, I'm one of the biggest sales man, in my own opinion. You know, we sell products, we go out and knock on doors like everybody else. Uh, and now that this came here, a lot of corporations are coming to me now because it's hard to get um, business, especially gloves and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. I import them from, uh, from China. Mm -hmm. We used to have a glove manufacturer, but we were not competitive when it related to international businesses. So now we source it ourselves. Yeah. I see. So you sourced them out to China mm -hmm. as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more economical over there. Right? Economic. Remember, wages are not as high as over there over there right. over here. Right. <coughs> he wanted a good product uh, for a lower price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you describe how you work with unions in the business? We're, we're not unions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we, uh, but I got nothing against it, uh, the union, anybody, as long as they got what you know, equality. We reflect the community, thanks to that nature. That um, we have a small group of people that work for us. We are going to have our business business run, but uh, as long as they have equality and things of that nature, then you know, I, I said, look, equal opportunity, equality for all citizens, look like me and other people. Then there's no problem with it at all. What convinced you to uh, step from business and enter into politics as well? Politics, <clears throat> well, we help people in business financially as much as we can. Politics, you have a lot more people. So I have changing the laws mm -hmm. to reach out and have a lot of people. So I decided to try my hand in there and let's see where I go there. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we're not going to take money from major corporations, mm -hmm. nor a lobbyist company, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. We use our own money, our own resources, so that the people know that I'm going to be working directly for them. Not someone else. And I think we can make a difference, make a change in the country. So it's uh, on account of like, you're working in business and you see a lot of uh, different problems that, that other people don't see. And then uh, you decide that uh, you need to have legislation in order to address those problems and that convince you uh, to enter politics. Yeah, yeah, I would say that, that, that's pretty accurate right there. Mm -hmm. What does uh, the doctor and Dr. Williams both stand for? Well, we have, we have, eventually I got, I think it was Saturday, I got a doctorate 
Doc Lamella, humanitarian, uh, you know, from, from, from Gibbons and um, the gospel singer, stuff like that. And so they honor it as doctors. And we have eight, eight of them. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. That's Thank awesome. You. That's awesome. Did you speak at the commencement as well? Uh, yeah, I did. We did. We were the uh, guest speaker. Nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, that, that was Saturday um, down in East St. Louis, Illinois, oh. a Bible college. Into it. Yeah. Okay, at Wizard, we assess the community for our quarterly issues that on air DJs or the Wizards must submit to the FCC or the Federal Communications Commission for non entertainment programming. So we ask uh, our community leaders, such as yourself, three important questions. First of all, what one thing is the most important for you? In the community? Well, for, for you, because uh, we are just uh, these three questions to oh, the okay. community right, leaders. Right, right. Mm -hmm. what, what most of the thing is there for me? Well, for me, it's for me to be able to do more to help the community. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing else is the majority of us who is very blessed in life to get things by ourselves. But now, it, it, it's uh, help more people in the community who do not have such as these faith baths, people um, live about three dollars a week for food mm -hmm. around. They don't have necessary resources to buy mm -hmm. So if I can help more and more people, that's the that most important thing to me. Put people in that way. What is the most important problem that uh, must be addressed long term that you feel, feel it's the long, the <coughs> most important problem? You mean for the community? Uh, for whatever, whatever that you feel is the most, impro most important problem to be, to address long term. Okay, so, well, you know, again, having people, economic empowerment, mm -hmm. uh, I need uh, friendship into the community, um, people taxing too high, trying to make sure that we can get it off and change the law so they don't want to be raising taxes on people. Uh, feeding the hungry, helping the senior citizen who do not have the resources to buy uh, medication or food. You know, as long as we can do that, we establish this here so that once we can do that, people can uh, have hope. Mm -hmm. You know, if they can have more hope, then they can encourage the generation uh, uh, in front of them and behind them as well. You know, so long term, those things that I like to try to have a, make a major, major effect on uh, now for myself. And I think for the community too, because if we get the economic empowerment and economic growth, the better all these communities are going to be, particularly people of black, brown, and color, and things that they work. But all people, if we can do that, we better have a better community. And what is the most important issue to be resolved by? Now, what the point is now? Yes. With the COVID 19 is the point of issue right now. I mean, if we, we, we um, if we can get back to work, you know, we got to figure this thing out. Our, our kids came back to school, mm -hmm. you know, and then how we're going to work that out with social justice in school. And some people may have computers at home, but they don't know how to use them. Some people might be donating computers, but they don't have Wi Fi. And if you got a boat, a lot of people in, in, in the uh, impressed men that do not have uh, the, the uh, education on how to use a lot of it as well. So that's the whole community back. Economic. Yeah. Do you have any ideas about uh, how you could help uh, resolve that, uh, this issue, uh, that problem now? Well, <clears throat> right now, if we are <clears throat> donating 20 million faith masks, we, we could have sold them for 15 million. I valued my faith masks at like 15 million dollars. Mm -hmm. We didn't sell them. We gave them to people that need them. Yeah. Um, we, we were working on that and working on That's the awesome. political side of it, trying to educate a lot of people. We're helping out the churches, mm -hmm. helping out the senior citizens, uh, the youth. And we just keep on going. So, it's, uh, so what you're saying is that uh, it's not something that uh, you're uh, planning to do. It's something that you're exactly doing right now. Yeah, yeah. I have 
your life. You got to see them <coughs> we can play in a lot. And sometimes we don't uh, get uh, what we need to get at. But, but then you just got to get in the practice and continue to help. The one door is closed, you go to make one. We just continue to do it. And you know, we'll eventually reach the goal. And we don't be helping you out. Do you have a, like an example of how, uh, what, you, what you're doing now? Did you run into any obstacles? And then how did you overcome the obstacle? Well, we've done a lot of life. You know, we, we, we all went to a seven day education. And we had a moment 13. We ran into a lot of roadblocks. We didn't have the money. We had to go another way. We finally got the owner of uh, McDonald's who gave us out to live there. Next mm -hmm. time, we finally got a chance to get the bank to open up as a, to a lot of credit and things that nature. But we had to understand how we had to have the credit. We had to build up our credit and stuff like that in order to, to get that old obstacle that we all I know that you said that uh, uh, some uh, people are not able to get educated about what they need to know. So you needed to know about that when you were uh, going into business. Who taught you? How Did you learn it from yourself or did you learn it from a mentor? I learned from myself. We didn't have anybody that necessarily show up. We learned it from ourselves. Mm -hmm. We got into a down mom for a living for us. But in order to get into management, we just watched people and learned from ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we, we did it. Hey, it wasn't an accurate to me. Because at that time, there weren't computers where you could just uh, type in and do a Google search yeah. and find things out at night. You had to really work for your information back then. Was, right. There wasn't a computer. At that time, it was a cell phone erasure. <laughs> <laughs> and you use your fingers, you know, like, kind of like that. I mean, what I feel through the day, I feel the time for the day, my fingers. <laughs> what advice do you have for our students about business and service? Well, the advice I have for our students is that I, I would wish they would make sure they uh, you know, when they're going to focus on what's best for uh, the community, and that's take case in point. If you're going to march for a uh, different situation, just in freedom of Black Lives Matter, that's good, but make sure you get people ready to vote so they can run for office and take care of their own you know, mm -hmm. and be in charge of, of, of their community. Uh, and make sure they get good good education, you know. Getting good education is important. Get as much high school as you can. But, but if you don't get the education, make sure you get a good grades. Uh, because, you see, education is not set out for everybody. But if you get a good grade, it still makes somebody take an exam. You know? A good what? Education. Yes. Uh, and you can make enough money to take an exam. Yes, yes, yes. All right. But if you get a good grade, 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 so you get that, you got good grades, and you can continue to move on, even if you don't have the education. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I, that's my advice that would be to, to them, and try to stay focused, vote, raise your vote, run for power, take office, mm -hmm. so they can help them own stuff in the community. Uh, be a good citizen, you know, stop the violence, take that, you know, get involved with that, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and keep going in the same way, any status in your heart, in your life. Well, Dr. Bobby Wilson, thank you so much for joining us in the interview with uh, uh, WCRD Chicago 88.3 FM, and thank you so much for your work, and much luck to you in your future and your work. Thank you very much.